good day, good everything to everybody. It is 9.43 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5-7-2020. Got a lot of stuff from Steve in the last half hour, 45 minutes. So today is going to be basically reading off the comments. And there's a lot of information in there. So if you don't mind, let me start reading away. Okay, here's the code in front of you. If you haven't used it yet for the Knox Pro, which is KnoxVIP.com, um, you can use that one to save your uh, fees on it and also for the upcoming social ecosystem. And I'll let you know soon if this is going to be the one that will be used for the IC or IEO coming up shortly for Apollo. This stuff that I'm reading off to you right now is really going to clarify the IEO, the Gold Ink game, and more. Okay, so here we go. Let's minimize that. Okay, what is the proposed use case of the, here we go, uh, Max? <clears throat> I, as I understand this means nothing, the GSC gold standard currency will eventually be backed up with the gold sold by the coin today, and at some point in the future, it will be backed by real gold. Clarification coming soon from Steve. Okay, so then you go next page, and here we go. It will be, all right, this is Steve. I, it will be backed by a very large platinum group metals mine that Apollo Fintech has acquired the rights to. Get, do you get that? They've acquired the rights to. Yay! Approximately 3,000 acres that we have in partnership with government. The government will be disclosed soon. That's my input. I haven't explained this yet, but it will be included in the profit. Mo so most of the platinum rhodium and palladium mine will be sold and the go-to backing of the token with gold increasing its value. But the value of that land, which is part of the precious metals content, will back it immediately. So it will have an immediate value. So, no problem, you are entitled to be worried, somebody said about being worried, you know. Please keep in mind that we are not pushing this to Apollonauts. What we are pushing to Apollonauts is that our in community is that the more Apollo they buy and hold, remember I mentioned this yesterday, the more token they get plus their Apollo. Okay, a large portion of the funds will go into marketing Apollo immediately. This mean, that means that we are doing an incredible large ad campaign. We just started this by securing a huge campaign, campaign in the UK. We have bought a year-long campaign that will run non-stop radio ads and banner across some of the biggest stadiums. Yahoo! We are also setting up massive ad campaign for blockchain and tech websites. Remember this, folks. Everybody will know Apollo is coming now and soon because of all this massive advertising that is being used. Every coin that is bought, the, the Apollo Fintech coin on the IEO, it's just going to be a mammoth thing for Apollo because the marketing, massive. And you've got to understand this too. The timing of this marketing is when you think about CBZ announcing the partnership with Apollo. Um, with the 20 million wallets in the commodity exchange. It's coming soon, once the lockdown is released. You also have a new entity, government entity, in Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe being announced. You have the United Allied States government using Apollo. That's going to be announced soon, all for the government and military. And so much more on their website and an announcement of what land starts it off as a nation. So you've got all that coming. See, what you need with all that coming is the biggest ad campaigns you can get. And think about the stadium ads, okay? Sure, people are right now locked down, but they're going to be coming out of it. So, and even if they do it without audiences, those banner ads will still run. And you're going to hear the radio ads, everything. Plus, main media is going to pick up Zimbabwe, UAS, United Allied States, Gold Inc., Social Echo. It's all going to be picked up. So we are basically, that, and if you want to read that, and maybe you were reading that while I was talking, I hope so. I'm going to just encapsulize this a little bit. A large portion of the funds will go into marketing. I just talked about that. Okay, so here. So we are not only incentivizing Apollo Nuts to buy more Apollo and keep it, but we are talking, taking money from people that would never have bought Apollo anyway and funding the largest marketing push we've ever done for APL. The ability is on board more countries and the ability to walk into a number of listings everybody wants. Right, because it's expanding the Apollo FinTech, Apollo Africa, Apollo Middle East, 
Pearl Asia. More people, more people to go out there and take care of business. So this Apollo FinTech, Apollo Currency APL, biggest in the world, folks. It's all coming. Okay, so hopefully you're reading too, because as I talk and do this, I want you to be reading, so I don't, you don't miss anything. Plus, you can replay the video. <laughs> so the game for, for the uh, Gold Inc. No, we own a stake, but they, the game is being developed by another company. Okay. Yes, it will be gold back. So the funds from the IEO will go to both parties? Watch the answer to this. Let's see. Funds from the IEO will go to furthering Apollo and Apollo use cases. This could have a drastic effect, not only long term, but in the very short term as we start. <clears throat> the reason why we decided to do it this way is because we believe that those who have bought Apollo and have held held deserve to succeed in more ways than just Apollo's price increase. Because with Apollo going up in price, you're all going to be going, Yahoo! But you're also going to be getting benefited by getting more tokens because you all have held those Apollos. So celebrate every Apollo nut that's out there that you have. 500,000, 100,000, 1 million, 2 million, 200 million, 300 million. You're all going to be going, Yahoo! Okay? And people go, yeah, well, who's got 300 million? There's a couple that wallets that are over 300 million. There's one that's close to 400 million. Look on the blockchain, you'll see them. They're forging, earning more uh, free coins. And that's available to you, by the way. Forge with a push of a button in your wallet, the Apollo wallet. Download it, check it out. It is the all-in-one wallet. It has a built-in DEX exchange built into it. Apollo has two regular exchanges, Knox uh, Global, which easy purchasing, easy, super easy, like Coinbase. Then Knox VIP Pro, which is the big one for uh, having over 200 pairings. They're out there, guys. Go get them. KnoxVIP.com, KnoxGlobal.com. Those are Apollo's exchanges. Apollo's rocking the world, folks. You may not realize it all around the world yet, but you're going to soon. <laughs> because with all the marketing and everything that Apollo's doing, all these people are going to know. Okay, so now you get into this uh, down here. GSC is the token countries will use. Yes, transaction. This is the big one. Transaction fees are 100% in APL. So when you have the Zimbabwe using the gold standard currency, okay, and the people use it, the wallets to scan and pay for their goods, rent, everything else, any fees are paid in Apollo. Same thing with all the, any time it's used like this, all the fees will be for the Apollo fees and then will generate a substantial amount for the forgers. And remember, forging is getting free coins. So you're going to get a lot of advantages because of Apollo going up in price. Ah, free coins. Okay. Apollo FinTech and Apollo are the same. Everything Apollo FinTech is doing uses Apollo. So a lot will be used to get new government contracts in Africa, Europe, and Asia. These contracts will have a bigger impact on Apollo than just anything else. As an example of this, when we get our national payment platform up, it can very well mean millions of daily active users on Apollo's wallet. There, there are only 300,000 daily active users on ETH, so you can imagine the impact of millions. With every transaction, we can make as much as 1%, depending on the country and the situation. Okay? If, if we have millions, potentially tens of millions, of daily active users paying for other goods, then the transaction fees is incredible and Apollo Fintech's profit will be substantial. This profit will, go, will partly go to backing this coin, but it will also go to pushing Apollo. One contract could be worth billions in USD. Dana, 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 Batman. Mm. Question here about uh, Midi Mouse. Wanted to know about getting Knox Global, no, Knox um, Pro, getting uh, Fiat, getting that taken care of, uh, bank style connection um, for sending. And here we go. We are just about to finalize the deal to get it integrated. We have an incredible partner being added. Or partner or platform? Let me say, was that partner? Yes, partner being added. Okay, so I know it's taken much longer than we thought it would, but it's a very lengthy process to get adequate fiat. Please keep in mind, this is a big statement here. Are we ready for this one? that this is a stable coin only in the way that it has a minimum value of assets backing it. So I want to stop it right there. A lot of people hear stable coin, they go, well, it's not going to move in value. 
this is not your traditional stable coin. This is a stable coin that will stop it from going down. <laughs> this is a stable coin that will go up as far as the moon and get beyond and beyond. It's a beast. Okay, so with that beautiful setting, both APL, Apollo All-in-One coin, and the new Apollo Fintech stable coin, like I said to you before in my last videos, are going to be the powerhouse. Have them both and re get ready to profit massively because they, and this is not hype, look at the facts, do your own research, listen, replay this video over and over again. And in two weeks after CBC announces and UAS is out there and everything else, you're going to understand that you've just got great coins <laughs> and the IEO's out. you got great coins to just rock the world and your profits. So here we go. It's also an initial offering token, which means that it will be represented a company in a digital format, the same as any ICO. Does that mean it's a legal share in Apollo Fintech in Hong Kong or the UAS? No. For a private company, that it would be very different as its shares are written on a piece of paper in a government office, so it can't be decentralized. Like all ICOs, every token does represent Apollo Fintech as a corporation. And we will never create anything any over that supply. So this is a one-time deal. We will also never do an ICO or, or IPO. That's big. We will also never do another ICO, IEO style thing, or IPO for a public company. This will only be the only way that people can take a major part in Apollo Fintech. That's big, folks. Okay. Boy, I tell you, I need some water. Read away there. To answer that the immediate back value would be if, if the entire real value of the precious metal rich land, the land we have acquired through government backs to coins, from the beginning that it very well could start with an asset back value of 0 0.0025 more or less. Then as long as the precious metal is stable and rising, it will go up from there as profit from the mine and Apollo Fintech is put into the gold backing each coin. So you start off there and then up she goes doesn't go down. So remember with the CDE started off at 0 .002 and then 3, 4, and 5, right? But then the coin went down and then went back up again, but then it went down. So now you've got a situation where this is just going to stay there and then go up. We aren't in control as, as much as it sells for on an exchange, but as a stable coin like USDT, we will show that the real world value that it would be held by us. And... Where is that? Can anybody see that? Oh, there, it is. up to top. Show the real world value. Boy, do I need more water. Well, help by us directly backing it. It would have a much higher total supply because it will keep most tokens locked, mm -hmm. considering it as our public offering, and we own Apollo Fintech. The circulating supply would be quite low <coughs> in comparison, however. I suspect the largest holders would certainly be upon us just from the dividend. Remember this, the white paper is coming out that will disclose everything. Because of a low circulating supply and what we believe will be the demand, it seems it will have a great opportunity to go up. Yes. As far as Apollo payout questions, I don't have exact amount yet, but we will be offering a very attractive incentive for those buying APL and holding APL. If the majority of your portfolio is in Apollo, it will have an... Okay. So I can't even find it. It will have a great opportunity to go up. Yes, there we go, right down here. And the real asset of the value in your portfolio when your GSC dividend is distributed to you. So you're going to be getting gold standard currency distributed to you for having Apollo. Who does that, folks? Not many, and especially nothing like this. Nothing like this gold standard currency. <laughs> All right, there we go. I'm getting, uh, I think we're almost done reading because my throat's getting a little sore here, but no APL is one of the, no, okay, no. APL is one of the most advanced cryptocurrencies on the market. It is the basis of all Apollo Fintech's products and what makes the world go round for Apollo Fintech and its products. It's not an ICO token. No, it never was. It was a coin distributed event. So APL is, is a currency. APL is a token that hosts tokens, however, if it's the engine behind everything we do, 
and the thing that will benefit most is what we do. And we are working on in a way to just have you leased to our wallet. Then we will know the amount you hold and we can send the cor corresponding amount of tokens. So that's, I don't know if you've ever seen this. Um, whether you have your Apollo wallet, you have a lease option on your main settings. And that's probably what it's going to be. You just do a temporary lease. Doesn't affect your holdings. Your coins stay where they are. But then the, it gets tied to the main Apollo FinTech wallet. Then they can see what you got. And then they send you your tokens. And then you stop the lease. Such a deal. Okay. And if, you do, if you're buying a lot, you keep it leased. And then they keep sending you the, uh, the quit tokens. Okay, this is good. The one guy, this guy, Michael. Oh, God, he's a pain in the butt. Uh, as you see, may define your token as a security. No. It's in, not a dividend. See, he doesn't get it, you know? And when you're making coins and you're doing products and you're doing everything else, you you think about everything from the beginning to the end you, and make sure that everything's kosher. You don't just throw it out there and go, oh, we should have thought about that. No, you, it, well, I'm not going to get into that. It's not a dividend legally. It's an airdrop. This was si a simple, simply a word I used to describe the airdrop to Apollo holders. Okay, we, and that's basically it right there. All right, so the, basically what I want to show out is all of that. Also behind it is on the ApolloCurrency.com, the white paper, technical paper, one pager, comparison chart, vision. Then that's really not up to date. It's got a lot in it, but they're doing so much more, so much more. Go to the wallet page to get your wallets, and the places to get it are KnoxVIP.com using my discount code. Also, Bidmart and Digifidex. You've got those right there ready to go. 0 0.0008, super affordable if you can afford it. I'm not your financial advisor. Do your research. Watch my videos. Over 700 videos for Apollo in the last two years. But do your own research and do the last 10. And you'll be up to snuff about everything. And then Apollo FinTech, right here. This is what's going to set world history with Zimbabwe, the United Allied States. Social Echo will be added to this site. It's all coming in the next few weeks, folks. Lock and load because what's happening? All these features, everything they're doing with these governments, they're things that the governments have needed for a long time to have transparency, to knock out fraud, to take care of business in a much faster way with two seconds speed on the sharded network of Apollos. Yeah, it's a vision for the future. It is the ticket to be all over with this new marketing that the Apollo FinTech coin generates funds for. Yeah, and then expansion of Apollo Africa, Asia, Middle East. Can anybody see where this is going? Is it just me? No, it isn't. It's Apollo Knots all over the world, been around for two years. They know where it's going. For your new Apollo Knots, it's this, there's no other exciting coin like this. No other exciting company like this. Apollo is taking care of business as a public company. The KnoxVIP.com is a U.S. regulated exchange. Okay, when you download the wallet, it has all the all-in-one features in it. Check out the left-hand side dashboard. You can forge for free coins. At 10.01 a.m., I'm going to sign off here right now, and I know I'm going to have more news for you, but this is a lot to take in. You may want to replay the video another time and just mute my voice, the music, and read away. Everybody have a great one. I'll see you soon.